get into this DIY for spring high-end decor for only a dollar. So I got these tulips at Dollar General during the Easter season for a dollar. You get two in a pack for a dollar. All you need is some paint, some Mod Podge, and a couple of napkins. So I chose two napkins for each flower. I'm taping off the leaves from the top of the tulip and we're gonna paint from the tape under and then from on top of the tape we're gonna paint the top of the flower white because when you decoupage a napkin if you paint under it white first it really pops some colors out so all i'm doing is taping them off and we're gonna paint the leaves green and the top of the tulip white now, when I sh chose two patterns of napkins for each flower, we're painting it Fern by Waverly Chalk Paint, the leaves. When I chose the two patterns, I chose two because when you turn the flower, I wanted you to see a different pattern. So the way they intertwine, you actually have to put half of your pa one pattern on the left of the flower the other pattern on the right of the flower on one side of each flower. We painted the tulip Snow White by Waverly Chalk Paint and then we went over the white with the matte Mod Podge. You wait for that to dry and then you're going to decoupage your napkin. The napkin, trying to explain the napkin is the hardest part but you will see what I do here in a second. So I do half and half on the fronts of two of the flowers. So you have a small flower and a large flower. You're gonna do half and half on one side of one flower. And I'm gonna show you here in a minute what I'm talking about. You, it's better if you see it, a visual is better. Here we are, Mod Podging. We're gonna set them aside, let them dry. And then we're going to take our napkin, peel apart our layers, only keep the image. Now you see how on the right, I did the tiny small flowers. And on the left, I'm doing the larger flowers. Because when we intertwine our flowers and we put them together, we're going to have a flower that has the same pattern across the whole flower. So half of it is going to be the same on both sides, right? So you're gonna have half and half, one on the front, one on the back. So when you turn the flower, you see one pattern on the half of the flower. When you turn it the other way, you see the other pattern. It's hard to explain. So if you watch here what I'm doing, it's a better visual. These came out so stinking cute. I think I'm gonna do it with the bunnies and they have Christmas trees. I'm definitely going to do it with the trees. So we're just sanding off our excess, cleaning up. And you see here, I'm like fitting it together. Okay, see how I got half and half and then a whole pattern on the other flower. We're going to decoupage over the napkin to make sure it's weather resistant. You never know. You could spill a coffee, whatever. So we're going to decoupage over our napkin make sure that it stands the test of time. We all, I'm also going to decoupage over the green so it's all one clean slate. It all looks glossed over. These came out so stinking cute. Now see, that's a half and half flower. And on the other flower, it's the whole pattern. Now, it, you see here, on one side I have the butterflies, on the other side I have the tiny small flowers. So when you look at it, it looks like, oh, one flower here. But when you come in from the other side, you can actually say, wow, it's different. It's butterflies on this side. These are the two patterns I chose for small and large. And I'll flip them around, and those are the other two patterns.
I know this is a late spring DIY, but I've been through the ringer. I'm going to catch you guys up on the next video. Everything's in the description box below. Be safe.